you to stand in order of your grade without saying a word. Go. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. All right. So let's. You just want to tell me your grade.
So the second form would be equivalent to what in it the would US? Be equivalent to eighth grade. Okay. So eighth grade to tenth grade. Eighth grade okay. Tenth, uh, to eleventh grade. Really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And so we supported the children with the academics with homework assistance, as well as exposing them to um, career development and personal development and computer training. So, so an enrichment program. Basically. Yes. Yeah. And these children were at risk. Yes. Uh, for failure yes. and for dropping out. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and that is actually what we had asked the principal to identify children who perhaps do not consistently attend school. Uh, who would need the help perhaps whose parents have not gone to college. And that's how we help, they helped us identify those students. So that was your beginning? That was the beginning. Nine years ago? Yes. And you've moved on since then? And then we moved on five years ago. Um, we, we, in fact, I had a stock up. I wasn't working for two years. And we didn't do anything for two years because I was funding the program. And um, when my mother decided she was going to open a shop five years ago, and we got this space, and I realized how large it was. I'm like, hmm. Mom, how about we block off a space and start with Hope Academy and start back with the children from the primary school? And this is what we did. Okay, so this, 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 all this space was uh, your mom bought yeah, it to rented, start it, yes. and she rents this out, yes. and she donates this yes. uh, middle space mm -hmm. to Hope Academy. Yes. So that's how you got. Uh, yes. That's how you guys. And now you told me you also have some wilderness property. That's right. Um, part of the, the component of this program is to help not just ac the children academically, but also to help enrich their life through camping. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer of camps. I, I, I know that taking children outdoors, away from all the technology, helps them to see things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And so um, my family has uh, lots of land down in Chazelle, and I was allowed to select a portion, about an acre of land that I can use for camping. Oh. for the children. Uh -huh. yes. And so how do you use it? Because okay. you said you don't have it, what you need. So right, so right now is we just have land. So we can the children can go down and have fun time, just explore. Every time the children go there they get lost climbing trees. There's a little ravine when it rains. Um, it's really, really nice down in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, but the plan is to build cabins on it uh -huh. so that we can use it as a campsite. And the, the whole purpose of the space is to be used as a campsite. Okay. To develop one, because we do not have something like that for youth in St. Lucia. Typically when we do camps, we use a school, and it, you know, it's not conducive sometimes. Yeah. Classrooms are sometimes not safe, um, because of, you know, things that have been, they've been used for. But a campsite in the wilderness for the purpose of developing youth. Mm -hmm. To bright, to, to allow them to see that they can have a bright future, yeah, yeah. and they can go beyond the college and become yes, more than they are their full people. potential. That's right. Yes, yes. I, I must say that we are we have been blessed um, by a couple families in the past. Um, because I was a student, I, I, I've been talking about this for a long time before it became a reality. So I had gone to uh, a workshop, and I don't remember in which state, but I was in New York at the time. And we went to a workshop where we developed this full plan for Hope Academy, including the costing. And three years ago, I was contacted by a family that said somebody recommended me to them, and they wanted to help, see where they can help us out. So they said they wanted to help us out in two areas in computers and in a bus to take the children around and I'm very fortunate to have been blessed by the Dressel family of New York. They've contributed laptops to us. We have 10 laptops and we have a bus that we take the children around on. So I oh, mean, this, that's, wow. it that's just, just helps support the, this vision. I mean, it starts small, but I know we're going somewhere. Okay, <laughs> so you said the magic word, which yeah. is vision. Yeah. I want to hear your vision. Oh gosh, my, my vision is that Hope Academy developed into a, a, some kind of academy of the arts. My, my sister is Esther, and she is a theatrician. Completed her studies in theater, in community work, and, and she has a way of developing, getting the skills out of you. Mm -hmm. And um, this term, we're starting with a full theater program, one program a term, mm -hmm. and um, she's just going to do theater, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add the, we're going to we have the computer, the computer component mm -hmm. to develop this program into mm -hmm. something. We're starting with after school, but really the goal is to develop a center of excellence for 
for arts, whether it be computer studies, whether it be for learning language, whether it be for um, theater, to develop a center of excellence where children can come to after school primarily. Um, and if it develops into something that's full-time, great, because I mean, as it is, we're giving back, so it's not, it doesn't have an income. We're doing this for the children for free. So we cannot work full time in the program. Does writing fall into that category of the arts? Definitely, yes it does. In fact, um, I've written two books, one that's ready to be printed and one that's not quite ready yet. Uh, the first one is about finding your purpose and answering the five questions that people typically ask mm -hmm. about life. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a short read, it's not very long, but for, for me it's a challenge youth again mm -hmm. to live up to their full potential in mm -hmm. Now you and I talked about um, some of the children who have real troubles with learning yes. and I introduced the idea of learning disabilities with dyslexia yes. and with ADHD yes. and I want to know um, what your thinking is about all of that. That was a lot to kind of yeah, throw so out there. We, we were talking about the real challenge we have with a couple, couple of the students here who have difficulty. We started out by helping them to see the small letter words and they could remember it week on week. Mm -hmm. And we wondered initially whether it was something to do with their vision and they couldn't tell what, um, what it is that they were. Um, they couldn't recognize the letters. So you had a couple of Right. Questions. So you recommended, yes, we started talking about dyslexia because I, I said we hadn't even thought about that idea or explored it at all. Yeah. And um, you recommended a book to us and we also looked on Future Learn uh -huh. and there was a class on dyslexia and, um, and something else. So the teachers are currently reviewing it, Esther and my husband Cliff Chandler is also a teacher. Uh -huh. They're reviewing the material to see if there's something you can use. But the, the material was not about identifying dyslexia, the material was about dys dyslexia and teaching. Yeah. Um, so for us, it would have, we would need the information before that, you know, the introductory yeah, yeah, part to, yeah. to begin to understand. Yeah, um, yeah. So that we, we would really like to go on a fact-finding mission uh -huh. to see what is available. In the they, islands. Yes, well, how can it be accessed and okay. how we can use it to better improve what we're doing. Here. So that's where I want to come in yes. is kind of see if we can pair you up with uh, uh, schools in the states yes. that specialize in this and maybe they could provide you with materials, yeah, uh, act as mentors, and uh, you know just generally help to get you um, up and started. Oh, yeah. And of course funding is very important. Good idea. I think it was amazing for me. I mean I guess you you're, you're sharing your story about your son was an eye-opener because to learn that he, even though he had this disability he's still living as a normal person you know managing his stuff he has a, a family and doing well so it's amazing I mean he has his, he has been confident yes through, through learning so yes and it was hard but he, he worked very hard and he was very determined oh one thing what are your most pressing needs so we've been here four years five years and the rental of the shop comes through the sales of the clothing and for the last two years the sales have been going down. So we have a challenge meeting the rent, which means perhaps sometime very soon we have to leave this place. So we definitely have to identify another place for us to use. So, so definitely our location is in Germany. That's for one. Um, but apart from that, being able to identify the, the needs of those children. So typically the first week when we start, it's just an assessment to see where the children are at. Uh -huh. But when we've identified what the issues are, and we need the help to take them to the next level. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a pressing need. Because as you can tell, we have um, one child who is in third grade. She's actually repeating third grade. and still has difficulties with her times table. We have quite a few of them. They didn't all come today. But we have quite a few of them who are old. They should have been further, but they were not. And so how do we help them bridge the gap? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's a challenge yeah. there. But then the, then the campsite. Um, is, is another thing. So we have the space. Yeah. Now we need the cabins on there. Yeah. The sleeping bags. So you need so money. Yeah. Definitely. You, you need money, and the best kind of money is money that comes in regularly every month. Yeah. That's the best kind of money. Well, I think we covered it all. Uh, two, two, three,